Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. And today, um, yeah, this is MH Geek here, and today we are going to be carrying on with the key quests for the village. And so, it is going to be the Nibble Snarf we are going to be facing against. So, I'm going to get ready for that by having some gunpowder get, you know, making some gunpowder and creating some barrel bombs, large barrel bombs that is, oh gosh, got garbage, but um, yeah. So anyways, you can only take three with you uh, on a quest, so yep, there we go. And I would also like to bring a couple of sonic bombs. Wait, I do have the, where's the sonic bombs right here? Oh, darn, I need more gunpowder for this. Ah, uh, so little nitro shrooms. I need nitro shrooms. To make power coatings. Nitro shrooms are really a very important component um, material for bow users because yeah I mean they are used to make sonic bombs, um, barrel bombs and also to make your power coatings so yes it's it's very important. So anyway here we go. Sand table manners. Hunt the nibble snuff. It's in the desert daytime so I've gone to the hot springs already and brought all brought some coatings, not all of them, but uh, I brought the poison, paralyze and uh, power coatings. So the bombs you will see will be... Oh, they actually provided bombs. Darn, I didn't actually need to... Okay, never mind. So how does the bombs come into the equation of going against a nibble snarf? Well, and what about the sonic bomb? So. We shall see. There will be a live demonstration. <laughs> so don't need to worry. No need to panic. Live demonstrations are of course the best. So just going to quickly coat the poison arrows. Coat the arrows with poison I mean. With the poison coating. And if I'm not wrong there will be an ecology cut scene as well because um, as usual this is the first time Rakuhara is facing against the Nibble Snarf. So let's see, is he going to be here? Oh, he's not here. I'm just going to pop a hot drink first. I think he's going to be at area 9. Yeah, either area 9 or 10. Yeah, just get ready, get the sonic bomb ready. So, the nibble snuff is a... Uh, sort of a sand... sand dune... Sand, uh, well, a desert monster that... Uh, in the Monster Hunter world, basically, our regular physics don't really apply, so to them, the sand is like water. They can actually uh, swim around in the sand, so very much like water. And yeah, so here we go. The ecology cut scene for the Nimble Snuff. So here we have two Ren Applaus, um, going head to head and, you know, whoa, here comes the Predator. Like, you know, airing his gills for I don't know what reason. And just, you know, stalking his prey, waiting for the two of them to collide. So here he comes, and... 3, 2, 1, BAM! Double kill. What is one greedy nibble stuff? And he just ate two freaking Renoplosses. So yeah, there we go. So if you leave him alone, he basically just... Where did he go? Oh, there. Yep, if you leave him alone long enough, he actually just becomes this um, sand dune. And he can hide, sort of, pretend to be a sand dune. As you can see from the shape of his uh, back and... Oh, there, there are no surrounding sand dunes for me to demonstrate, but yeah, you get you get the idea. He, he basically does this as well. So, there we go. An attack. So what happens is, when he... Oh, oh my gosh, this is... Oh my gosh, my poor cat! Owl shell. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. He's going, doing the freaking Kamehameha using sand. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was a kind of a bit of a lag there, so I'm sorry. Okay, what do we do with the, sand, the sonic bombs? Whenever he goes down into the sand and starts spotting like that, if you do this, he will attack that very spot instead. And instead, like, you know, force him off the ground. 
So yeah, he won't stay in the sand for too long. And oh my gosh, he's doing another of that. But it's a small burst, so it's not too bad. Alright, is he gonna dive in again? No, he's not. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa. Yo, oh, he's gonna blow sand from the back. Yes. So, when when you see him um, raising his gills and intentionally going, like, let me just... Yep, he fell for it. So, Sonic Bombs aren't actually very, very necessary to deal with the Nibble Snuff, as you can see. He... baiting him out is... it's only just to bait him out so it saves time, you know, instead of waiting for him to come at, get at you, come at you, or whatnot. Yeah. Okay. I ran out of poison coatings. Now I'm gonna try and demonstrate how does the barrel bombs work against him. So right now I'm, I'm the only point of focus right Did he eat the bomb? Oh, he missed it. Okay. Eat the bomb. Eat the bomb. Oh my gosh. Never mind, he blew the bomb right up in his face. <laughs> I wouldn't... I don't mind. Completely don't mind that. So I actually prefer that my cats are... Not around. Because... Yeah. Okay, never mind. Let me just put the bomb. He's coming for a second round. Come for me, come at me. Yes, yes, yes. Eat the bomb. Yes, he got the bomb. Oh, he got me. Ouch. Never mind. It's worth. It's worth because... Boom! There we go. And we can fish him, fish him, fish him. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Press circle of fish and then spam all the keys that you have. There we go. And we pull him out. So that is the point of using barrel bombs against Nibble Snuff. He actually... Um, if you can bait him to swallow one of them, it blows up within him and it will give him a sort of a weak moment so he... not weak, not weak, like you'll daze him for a while and then you can take the chance to go right up to his face, hit circle and fish him out kinda interesting right? I kinda, I seriously love that mechanic so he's gonna, is he gonna turn around and carry on with it? I'm not sure but just gonna place another bomb here um, in the meantime coat my... put in the para coatings Oh, he's, he's totally coming, man. Oh, just gonna do a Superman dive to avoid that and kaboom, kaboom. Any kabooms? Wait, no kabooms? What? How did that not work? Well, in any case, oh my gosh, my poor cat. Not sure why that did not work on him, but um. Anyway, he's exhausted. As you can see, he's uh. He's gills are out, exposed. So yeah, it's quite interesting as to how the nibble stuff actually survives in the sand. Supposedly, if you consider sand to be water, then uh, he does need to filter filter the sand to get air. I mean, I can understand he needs a filtration system for it, but um, I have no idea how effective gills would be in a sand environment, honestly. I mean, this is, after all, this is still a fictional world, so some things would be a little bit hard to explain using our real world logic and uh, sciences, I guess. Oh, he got flinched. And now he's paralyzed, haha. -ha. Just gonna unequip the. Ouch, stop, stop it, Ant. I'm just gonna call it Ant because I really. The, the, its actual name is pretty darn annoying to pronounce. Okay, so he's recovered his stamina, which is... Oh, I think... Did, wait, is his head... Wait, can he even break his head? I don't know. Okay, he's coming to do a... Hit. Whoa! That's one heck of an attack. He's pretty much like a sand shark. So yeah, and I think he's uh, enraged, as you can see from the steam coming out of his nose. And my cat is like taunting him and... Oh my gosh! He took the brunt of the entire attack. I'm not sure if he blocked it or not, but um, that 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 oughta hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was close. So yeah. So I think maybe the the barrel bomb eating part is probably it probably only works when this guy is not enraged. Probably. I'm contemplating not using my power coatings, by the way. Just uh, want to bring that out because um, woo. Oh, we can take this chance to hit his... 
Oh shit, we can't. I missed it. Oh, 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 oh. Fish, 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 fish. Here we go, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, sweet. And I think. That thing in his throat, we can actually break it. But uh, it's actually pretty hot. I'm trying my best, uh, but he's not really cooperating because it's. Ah, never mind. But anyway, he, he sort of got into that weakened state where we can fish him again because he got flinched while. while in, in the sand, I guess? Uh, I can't remember. I, I mean, besides using barrel bombs, I don't remember what other way. what is the proper condition for him to be. Um, exposed like that. So yeah, forgive me, but um, I'm not the legendary pro. I'm just, you know, casual gamer, trying to share his love for Monster Hunter. So yeah, you know that um, little round thing at the back of his throat? You can actually break it out! Out! Okay, wow, that, that tracking is pretty damn good. So yeah, as you can see, as the HR goes up, as the difficult not HR, as the difficulty goes up, like, in terms of the quest levels, you can see the monsters AI are getting more and more they're getting they're improving, yeah. They're getting more they're getting more and more difficult to deal with. With that increased tracking ability and all that. Oh, flinched him again. But he he still wow. He's like, nope, I'm not stopping for no one. And uh yep, he's just releasing all the sand stuck in his gills probably. So I suppose maybe he he basically just, as he breathes, he just, you know, filters all the sand through his gills and then every once in a while when he gets too clogged up with sand, he's going to have to, yeah, clear it out by expelling it as a form of, as a form of a, an attack or just regularly just airing it out, maybe. I don't know, possibly. Mm, very likely, I guess. So I don't have any other bombs left to, you know, do surprise attacks and stuff with against him, so... Meh, let's just go. Oh yeah, Very terrible sound there. Oh, He's sleeping! What a cute little baby! Uh, look, look at him with his, with his mouth, with his jaw loose and all that. But I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to give you a... a wake up. And he's like, what's going on? I want to break that, that huge bulbous thing in your mouth, Ming. But too bad you ain't giving me the chance, right? Oh no, 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 there we go, the back burst. Yep. Woo! Oh, so by flinching him... Oh, wait. Is he? Is he? Is he not? Oh, oh, wow, what's that? Did we not actually get a chance to... Oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. He... Ah, oh, he just... Hmm. Woohoo! Nope! I have no idea why um, there was no opportunity- Oh my gosh, one more of those back bursts. I have no idea why I didn't get the opportunity to fish him up again, but nonetheless he's dead, so okay. Yeah. And I believe I didn't break any part of him at all. See that, that, huge, that huge round thing that you can actually break? Yep, that's one. And uh, I believe you can break his claws, but... I haven't been aim targeting at his feet at all, I've just been shooting at his head. So, uh huh. Uh, yeah. Me being scrubby and all. <laughs> but then again, um, I don't think I'm going to be making many Nibble Snuff items. I'm not sure about it yet. We shall see. So, the Nibble Snuff, um, he does, uh, if you if you get hit by the sand the sand tunnel sand blast thing, it does apply water blight, and uh, it sort of gives you a hint that his items would be water related. And uh, I'm trying to find some dung over here because I really need ah there we go. I ran out of dung for my farm, so yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, his um, attacks are mainly water. His weapons are water based, and um, generally, I feel that the Royal Ludrov bow is pretty darn good. It um, it gives quite good piercing. While the nibble snuff bow, we shall check later. But if I'm not wrong, it's a rapid bow or is it a spread bow? Let's just take a quick look. Ooh, there's an eater. Yes. So that that quest didn't go on for too long. It's um, 
Yep, pretty easy. But I think I should have unlocked the urgent quest for the next village. Yeah, village quest star. Yeah, I did. So let me just quickly check out the weapons first. Hi, old man. So weapon craft, bow. Yes, type 64 multi bow. This is the noble snuff bow. It basically deals rapid. Yes, rapid. It can use quite a good amount of coatings as well. Power, sleep, close range, exhaust. Uh, I'm totally just going to ignore paint because um, that's something I wouldn't, wouldn't really use at all. The Ice Crest is another of the bows that I really want to make because uh, one, I love the Baryoth. Two, it looks um, pretty darn cool like this. Like, ch check out those fangs, man. Whoa. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's basically one of the best ice. It, wait, is it the only ice? No, I don't think it's the only ice bow, but it's one of the best ice bows. And if you make the variant, which is the Sand Baryoth, it becomes one of the strongest raw damage bows as well. So, yeah, this this is on my to-make list, definitely. definitely. Um, well, this guy, is, uh, it looks alright. I don't really appreciate how it, how is that weird rifle thing there. It's it's kind of weird if you ask me. So I love I love the Queen Blaster as well. You can see that this this tube there applying the coatings <laughs> quite interesting. So um, this is basically just um, Baryov's fangs being cool. So as I was saying about the Royal Ludrov's bow, yeah, this one it it gives very great pierce. At the higher levels, the pierce is just amazing. So, yeah, definitely gonna work towards that. And right now, let's just have a quick chat with the village chief. I've been waiting for you. Got trouble? Uh, you for a moment to hear what I have to say. Recall the Zinogar? Yep, it's been reeking a great deal of that. I think I think the word is wrecking and not reeking, but um, um, you know, fan fan translations and stuff. It's still it's still a very good job. I mean, no, I'm not I'm not shooting it down, but. There are times where there could be mistakes when, you know, they missed out. Slightly improper translations. Nothing wrong with that, really. After all, they put in a great deal of effort to bring this translation to us, and oops, damn, I accidentally just skipped the next um, few sentences. But okay, so don't need to rush out there now. But uh, take your time, go for your equipment, pack any supplies, and take down the Jinoga, basically. Bring traps, potions. You're the only one we can rely on. Yes, definitely. Like any other single player game, you're always the hero. <laughs> So when the time comes, I know you'll do fine. I have complete faith in you. We all do. Okay, so there we go. The urgent quest, which is to take down the Zenoga. Howl at the moon. We shall not be attempting that today. Not just yet. But no, you know, well, just getting mentally mentally ready for that. Uh-huh. So in the meantime, let me just um, go and get another cat. Slowly increase my cat collection. Why not? So we shall see. Who do we have here? Um, I would like, I would like um a cunning one. Persistent, nah, persistent isn't very useful. I like cunning. Mm. Yeah, cunning is cunning and chancy are great. I like this too, but this one small first. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that bad, I suppose. It can get rid of all the random additions, add-ons and stuff, so I'll just get this guy. And I shall re rename him. Um, rename him to because he's, he's generally quite... Oh, what, what am I doing? He's generally quite white, so let's just go call him Shiro. Uh, which basically means white in Japanese. And it doesn't sound as bad as white. Like, just white. Shiro, there we go. Yep, and that's my fifth cat. So I'm just gonna slowly accumulate all these cats, and uh, next one I'm going to request for an attack style. I already have uh, bomb and boomerang. No, I think I merely have bomb, merely and boomerang. Bomb and boomerang? Bombs only, boomerang only? Hmm, weapon only? I think melee and boomerang is actually a pretty good combo. But I'm just gonna go for another. Uh, uh, weapon only. Because when you have weapon only, um, especially when you're playing as a bow user, single player, you may just get really lucky. Your cats just happen to whack the tail too one too many times on using their melee weapons, and 
it's possible for them to cut off the tail entirely. I've seen that happen uh, quite a number of times in my last playthrough, which was a long, long time ago. My save data is actually still around. I can actually port it into this game, but I will choose not to because I don't want to tempt myself too much. So yeah, let's let's just um, give them some training to do. You can do some boxing to level up as well. Yep, there we go. Whoa, there we go. So now all of them are. My two main cats are training up their defenses and uh, attacks, attack and defenses. While these new cats are just trying to level up first. And yep, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you really, really do want to see more of these videos come along. And yep, that is all. MH Geek signing out.